The Rise of Commercial Forestry To manage and conserve forests, the British government invited German expert Dietrich Brandes. He set up the Indian Forest Service in 1864 and formulated the Indian Forest Act of 1865. He established the Imperial Forest Research Institute at Dehradun in 1906. In 1878, an amendment in the Indian Forest Act of 1865 divided forests into reserved, protected and village forests. The villagers were not allowed to take anything from reserved forests. These were the best forests. They could take wood only from protected or village forests. How were the lives of people affected? According to villagers, an ideal forest has a mixture of plant species to fulfill the needs of food, fodder, fuel and timber. The forest department, however, promoted only species like teak and sal, to ensure uninterrupted supply of timber to fulfill the British demands back home. The Forest Act severely affected the lives of the villagers. They were forced to steal wood from forests and bribe the forest guards if caught. How did the forest rules affect cultivation? Joom or shifting cultivation was a traditional practice of cutting and burning a part of the forest after harvesting. The land was then fallow for a long period. The British feared fire in forests could spread and burn the valuable timber. Shifting cultivation also made it harder for the government to calculate taxes. Hence, they banned it. It forced the locals to leave forests and look for alternative means of livelihood.